improved performance and simpler syntax. Here's how you can do it. 1. Single File Component, SFC. First, create a single file component with the link to .view extension. This file combines the template, script, and styles for your component. 2. Functional Option. In your SFC's less than script greater than section, you can explicitly declare your component as functional using the functional option. 3. Functional render function. The render function receives two arguments. Create element, a function used to create virtual DOM elements. Context, an object containing information about the component context. Within the render function, you use create element to build the virtual DOM representation of your component. 4. Template, optional. While you can define the entire component logic in the render function, you can still use a template for easier visual representation of the UI structure. 5. Scoped CSS and props. You can use scoped CSS within your SFC to isolate component styles. Like regular components, functional components can receive props and use them within the render function. Benefits of functional components. Performance. Functional components can be more performant than class-based components due to simpler component life cycles. Concise syntax. The render function offers a clear and concise approach to defining component logic. Testability. Functional components are generally easier to test due to their simpler structure. Considerations. Limited life cycle hooks. Functional components don't have access to certain life cycle hooks like created or mounted. Less intuitive for complex components. For complex components with extensive logic, class-based components might be more familiar and provide additional capabilities. View Loader integrates seamlessly with functional components, providing hot reloading and other development tools. For simple UI elements or components with straightforward logic, functional components offer a valuable approach in your view projects. Remember, the choice between functional and class-based components depends on your specific needs and the complexity of your component. Consider both options and choose the one that best suits your development goals. If you have any further questions or need help with specific implementations, feel free to ask.